In this video, I'm going to demonstrate Fleming's right hand rule using this wine bottle cathode ray tube that I made. The white lead, which is the uh, anode, and the black lead, which is the cathode, are connected to a small high voltage boost converter, which is run by a small lithium ion battery. That's like a 3.7 volt lithium ion battery. And that can run uh, a boost converter, which generates enough voltage to produce a discharge in the wine bottle. Let's show you how that works. As you can see there, just press the button and it lights up. So I get a plasma in the wine bottle. And uh, I'm going to demonstrate Fleming's right hand rule. So uh, here goes. So this is this will demonstrate Fleming's right hand view. So my third finger is the direction of the current from positive to negative. My index finger or second finger is going to be the direction of the magnetic field from north to south. And my thumb should show the direction of movement of the electron beam, which is the same as the flow of electrons in a wire. So here goes. So I'm going to turn on the beam and I'm going to put the north pole of this neodymium magnet on top and it should move to the right according to Fleming's right hand rule and you can see that it does right there. Now if I reverse the magnet it should move to the left which it does. So a simple demonstration of Fleming's right hand rule as shown. Let me go over that again. Here's my, here's the Fleming's right hand rule. My index finger, which is that finger, is the direction of the magnetic field going from top to bottom. My third finger is the direction of current going from positive to negative, which is this finger. And my thumb shows the direction of motion of the electrons. So let's do it again. Here's the magnet, top to bottom. You can see them moving to the right. Now if I put the south pole on top, so the magnetic field is now reversed, the electrons move to the left. So uh, thanks for watching and hope this helps you to understand Fleming's right hand rule a little bit better. The right hand rule also applies to motors and the left-hand rule applies to generators.